All right, so last video I did was showing you how to attach an image to a uh, to your post to Mastodon Blue Sky. So you know, with this uh, API that that I, I demonstrated last time, let's pop over to that here. So with this a API that I showed last time, it was getting a picture from the NASA um, API. Uh, you know, it's the a, a daily astronomy image, and a lot of times those images are high resolution, high quality images. And Blue Sky has a size limit on the images of one megabyte. So um, a lot of times, you know, a lot of the days that, uh, that they post that image, the image itself is too big to post onto Blue Sky. So in uh, Power Automate, there are a lot of ways that you can use to resize images. Um, most of those involve like a third party, but it requires, you know, a subscription or, uh, you know, and a premium license. Uh, but there is, uh, you know, if all you want is a, like a, a smaller image, like a, a large thumbnail of the image, which is good enough for posted blue sky, there's a really easy way to do that. And that's to use OneDrive. Um, and the OneDrive is one of the standard connectors, so it doesn't even require a premium license to do it. But uh, what, what you can do is, uh, this is uh, my NASA um, image post uh, flow. I've modified it a bit here to account for the uh, the larger images for Blue Sky. So the first thing I'm going to do is part of this. You know, I've got uh, I've got most of it is the same as what it was before, and I've got my session here that I'm creating for Blue Sky. But what I need to do is check the file size of the image. So um, what I'm doing is going up here into the header. I've added a a where condition or a a condition action to my flow. I'm going up here to the header, getting the content length of the header. And just to be safe, I've set it to 900,000 bytes. So, you know, if the image is just a little bit under, uh, you know, if it, you know, starting at just a little bit under one megabyte, um, which would be, you know, roughly a million bytes, uh, I'm going to say, okay, I want to do something to get a smaller image that I can use with Blue Sky. Um, so what I, I do there, so I do that check. And if, uh, out here so if it's not bigger than that by itself this is the exact same flow that i had in here before so it's just doing the same things getting the content sending the image uh parsing the response waiting 30 seconds and then posting it to blue sky but if it's larger than you know my test my test size here uh there's a couple steps that i want to do so the first thing i'm going to do is upload the file into my onedrive folder um so i'm just getting the uh uh, the way that you do that is you can add a couple of actions from the OneDrive uh, connector. Uh, the first one is upload a file from a URL. And what this will do is you pass in a URL and you can upload it to a folder in your OneDrive. And that's all I'm doing here. So I'm taking the, uh, the URL of the image that I get back from the NASA API. And I'm just uploading it to this folder in my OneDrive and giving it the name nasa.jpg. Uh, right now, I, I, I'm just assuming that it's all JPEG images. I, I need to... Uh, probably need to adjust that to account for, you know, PNGs or bitmaps or something like that, but uh, that's something for another day. And I'm saying if the image already exists, go ahead and overwrite it. So, you know, because I don't want to keep a bunch of copies, I just need it for a little bit. Uh, and then what OneDrive has is a get file thumbnail is uh, another action under the OneDrive connector. And what you can do is you can get a thumbnail of an image file uh, and this offers three different sizes here. And I'm just going to get the large one. The large one is roughly 800 pixels by 800 pixels. So what it will do is you pass in the ID that you got back from uploading the file to OneDrive. And you say, okay, give me a thumbnail of that image. And what OneDrive will do is it will generate a thumbnail of the image. And that thumbnail will exist for about eight hours. Uh, I think six to eight hours. I don't remember the exact time there. Um, and there's three different sizes you can get. Small, medium, large. So large is 800 by 800 roughly. Uh, medium is 600 by 600 and small is 200 by 200, I think, or 250 by 250, something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter what these two are. I'll, what I want is the largest one I can get because that's always going to be less than a megabyte. Um, for instance, uh, generally speaking, uh, you know, an 800 by 800, you're talking about 180K, maybe 200K. So it's well under the one megabyte limit for uh, for Blue Sky. And, and once I have that, what I need to do so the, the get a uh, get a file thumbnail will actually return to you a URL to that uh, OneDrive thumbnail. So 
So then I'm making an HTTP call to go out and get the uh, content of that image. So I'm just taking that URL that gets passed back from the get file thumbnail. I'm doing a get call to that, and that gives me the content of the thumbnail. And then the rest of the steps are the exact same. I'm just sending the image to Blue Sky. Uh, I'm parsing the response that I get back from that to get the uh, the ID of that image, or as uh, Blue Sky calls it, the um, uh, the link. They call it the link in their response instead of ID. And then I'm just doing the same thing I was doing over here, and what I was doing originally is passing that into Blue Sky. Now I I could kind of unify this a little bit, but you know the way the setup here is quick and easy, and, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to show you a run of that here that ran earlier today. Got here our condition for that. And our outputs for, um, here we go. Here's our blue sky run. So you can see here the image that was in there today was larger than one megabyte. Uh, it's actually, I think it's like 1.5 megabytes or something like that was the size of the image today. Um, so I've got the step here. So I'm sending that to my OneDrive using the upload OneDrive. So it's, here's the source coming from the NASA uh, uh, API. And then I'm uploading it to this folder and file name in OneDrive. And I get back from that uh, the name, and an ID for it, uh, and the path. And the part that I care about is this ID, because that goes into the next step here, which says, OK, get the thumbnail, generate that thumbnail image. You can see here what it will do is it will give you a URL um, to that thumbnail and it will tell you the size here. So uh, see it's roughly 800 by 755. It will scale it uh, appropriately. So it would be 800 by something. Um, whatever the larger dimension is will go down to 800 and the other dimension will go to whatever the smaller size would be um, uh, comparatively. But the important part here is this URL that I get back. Uh, and this big long URL that I then uh, whoops then I download that thumbnail and that gives me the content which will be you know a base 64 uh, representation of the image uh, parse that content response to get the uh, the link and uh, that was Turn from there and just posting that to Blue Sky. So it's uh, pretty straightforward and easy uh, to, to implement this. Um, OneDrive, you know, if you don't really need a specific uh, resizing uh, of the image, uh, the OneDrive makes it really quick and easy to uh, to get that handled for you. So hopefully that helps you in your own flows.